Hello, this is Craig with Fallout Technical Service. Today we are going to discuss the possible remedies to the high amp error on a Fallout Horizon 1650 ICE machine. Before we begin, please be sure to use personal protective equipment. Fallout recommends protective eyewear and gloves for this procedure. Also, remove power from the unit when appropriate. The tools and supplies we'll be using today are as follows. Disposable food service grade gloves, cut proof protective gloves, paper towels or lint free cloths, a Phillips head screwdriver, a 7 16 inch deep well socket, a 5 8 inch socket, a scotch bright pad, 120 grit emery cloth, a 1 gallon bucket, safe clean plus ice machine cleaner. Press the purge button to purge the evaporator and then turn power to off. Using the 5 8 inch socket, unscrew and remove the stream divider as shown. Unplug the gear motor. Remove the bolt using the 7 16 inch socket. Remove the center gear motor bolt using the 5 8 inch socket. Remove the four gear motor bolts using a 5 8 inch socket. Slide the gear motor forward, remove and set aside. Remove the insulation. Unscrew and disconnect the ice transport tube from the louvered docking station. Unplug the sensor at the electrical box. Remove the vent tube from the shuttle housing. Loosen the V-band clamp using a 7 16 inch deep well socket. Remove the main housing and set aside. Carefully remove the auger. Mix one gallon of Safe Clean Plus Ice Machine Cleaner according to the directions on the package. Use a Scotch Bright pad soaked in Safe Clean Plus Ice Machine Cleaner to thoroughly clean and scrub the auger. Rinse the auger with potable water and a clean cloth. Use 120 grit emery cloth soaked in Safe Clean Plus Ice Machine Cleaner to thoroughly clean and scrub the evaporator barrel. This must only be done using an in and out motion. Slide the ice machine forward 4 inches. Remove the two Phillips head screws securing the water reservoir lid. Check the water probes for scale. Clean using Safe Clean Plus Ice Machine Cleaner and a Scotch Bright pad if necessary. Replace the reservoir lid and reinstall the two screws. Slide the ice machine back into the louvered docking station. Evaporator reassembly. Lubricate the O-ring with petrogel and reinstall in the groove. Reinstall the auger shaft with the keyway in the upward position. Place the V-band clamp in position. Position the main housing in place against the evaporator barrel and place a Phillips head screwdriver into the hole in the auger shaft. Replace the nut on the V-band clamp and tighten. Remove the screwdriver. Reconnect the ice transport tube to the louvered docking station. Plug in the sensor at the electrical box. Reconnect the vent tube to the shuttle housing. Apply a coat of petrogel to the auger shaft. Install the gear motor, making sure that the insulation is properly seated between the gear motor and the main housing. Firmly tighten the four gear motor bolts. Insert a bolt into the auger shaft and finger tighten. Rotate the shaft clockwise to align the keyways in the gear housing and the shaft. Insert the key into the keyway. 
Remove the bolt and reinstall the washer and bolt. Place the retainer over the bolt and secure with the nut and washer. Lubricate the body of the stream divider with petrogel and reinstall. Plug the gear motor power cord into the electrical box.